The push to reduce homelessness in Jackson continues, but it hasn't been easy. I'm your neighborhood reporter, Olivia Pajo. Over 30 organizations came together at TA Wilson to share how they're providing those resources to those who need it. Moving on the street is hard. We need some help and we need a lot of resources. Whether it was getting a license, tax assistance, or a warm meal, neighbors struggling with homelessness found some of those resources at the Homelessness and Housing Resource Fair it's Thursday. Helping you it's out. helping other homeless people. Isn't that? That's what I am. This effort has seen its challenges due to a lack of funding. The shelter at TA Wilson has had to reduce their hours and shut down the pallet houses. But at the same time, the calls have not stopped. But when we find ourselves inside the building doing paperwork or whatever, um, on the off hours, people still knock on the door. So the need, the need is not going away. Meaning that the resources provided Thursday are more timely than ever. But with some help, the shelter isn't gone for good. We're receiving support from different organizations and individuals within our community. And our goal is really that we get back to that full 24 hours because we want to provide transitional housing. Residents in action have a goal of turning T.A. Wilson into a resident-led community center providing resources like the ones provided at the fair today year round. They're going to try and help me get another Medicaid card, a hard card. For neighbors like Sally. I'm going to try and see if they can, will help me to go get go back to school to learn how to read and write. Reporting in Jackson, I'm Olivia Pajot, Fox 47 News.